So this is my thoughts and views of The Invisible Man from 1933 by Universal Studios. This was the first ever of the Universal Monsters that I watched. So it was on television at the time and I just having heard of HG Wells and all that, I just thought I might check it out and as a result I actually liked it. I mean it has a good blend of horror and humour and the special effects for its time are over are through the roof, especially especially when the invisible man's present. I mean when I mean basically the story is simple, a eh? somebody is a professor who's played by Claude Rains has be made invis has become invisible and he's trying to find a way to turn back but there was like certain drugs that were mixed into the invisible formula which is slowly making him go mad and now he starts using his invisibility for criminal purposes like murdering, robbing, breaking and entering, that sort of thing. See, like I said, this movie came out the same year as King the King Kong movie did the original one, the original one by Willis O'Brien, and yeah, both of them have both of them shown great special effects for the time. I mean, especially in the Invisible Man, where it's easier to show him with clothes on and without clothes off, but if he's like half dressed, then the special effects actually come out, and spe basically what they did was that they would cover parts of Claude Rain's body, which are supposed to be invisible, in a sort of black silk or leather, and then shot the entire thing against a black background. And when they then combined the films together, the f it stood out. I mean, yeah, I mean. There's hardly I I can't I, there's hardly anything I could say about it apart from the fact that he has like loads of sequels and parodies and things that I also kind of like you know Claude Rain's speech speeches where he like you know, when the madness has begun to take over and he literally starts saying things like I could break into anybody's home into this into royalty, into the holies, and make the world panic with finger at the touch of my little invisible finger. That's sort off. Of. And he like sort of looks out the window and goes, even the moon is afraid of me. Which to me kind of sounds like they originally were going to go with God, but they don't want to be, they don't want to, the, the church bring, they don't want to be, getting, they don't want to get in trouble by the church, so they probably changed it. See, so like the other early Universal Monster movies, there's no like music backgrounds apart from the climax, where basically the the Invisible Man is hiding out in a barn. The farmer, uh, the person who owns the barn, informs the police, and the police surround the barn. They then set it on fire, causing the Invisible Man to run out, and they see like footprints in the snow when the chief of police manages to shoot him dead. And also, when the Invisible Man does die, his body slowly becomes visible again, and it's another great special effect. Would I recommend this? Yes, I would. I mean, some, I mean, some of the characters you may not like. I mean, there's like a... There's like a barmaid, I mean... It's like a wife of a inn owner who shrieks now constantly now and then, and the and some and well, yeah, that's about basically it, really. I'm sorry if I keep pausing and mumbling and my words because, yeah, well, as we as with as with all my videos, I'm doing this off script, and now thinking about it, I think I should just like write write down some notes and then just go off of that. So yeah. Yes, I. that's my thoughts on The Invisible Man. I would recommend it at, to any horror cla horror viewer or classic horror collector. And yeah, I'll see you next time.